Hey guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm going to be going over another 5 shops that are very OP to buy from in Old School RuneScape. Again, shops are really good if you don't have a lot of money, if you don't have that high of skills, they're very good for making some entry level money and we're going to go have a look at another 5 of them. Alright, let's get started. Okay, so for the first method, uh, you'll actually need access to the Kaliomancer's chest, so you will need a certain degree of recipe for disaster completed. However, uh, the benefit here is the bank is literally the same chest that you are buying items from, which is pretty convenient. What you're going to be buying is the grapes, because if we have a look at the value, uh, there's only 1 GP from the shop, and notably 266 on the Grand Exchange, so you can go ahead, buy 10, go down here, hop to another world, and not a lot of people are doing this, and plus there is a bit of a requirement to get access to this, so it's not usually contested. And you just have to hop three times and you get a full inventory. Now, currently a full inventory is worth somewhere between 7 and 8k, which is actually quite good. Especially considering that this requires no money to start doing. 1 GP per grape is nothing. So from uh, 28 GP, we just turn that into 7.3k, just like that. And grapes sell really quickly as well. Uh, so we'll do this for a little bit just to see what the GP per hour would look like and we'll be back uh, after maybe 5 or 10 minutes. Okay, so we did this for about 5 minutes and I was able to get 8 inventory of grapes, uh, which equals 216 of them. Uh, so let's go ahead and give that a price check. 216 is equal to about 58k. Uh, so we calculate that per hour is equal to about 700k an hour, which is very good. Uh, super easy, especially if you get wiped or you have no money. 700k from scratch is amazing. You do have to be worried about uh, getting booted out from switching worlds too much though because there isn't much downtime so you do have to kind of stop for a minute every once in a while. Next up we have the Magic Guild in Yanil. Uh, now on the second level there is a stall essentially that you can buy battle staffs from as well as death runes. Uh, now the main drawback here is it is heavily botted uh, due to its low requirement. All you need is 60 magic to get in here. Besides that, you're good. So there's tons of people here that you can be fighting over the items for, but like I said, low requirement and uh, pretty decent profit. I mean, each battle staff is a 1k profit. That's not the right one. Uh, death runes can be bought down to zero while still profiting. If we have a look here, examine the death rune, uh, 246 on the GE and in the shop is 219. So you can buy them all the way down to zero and uh, battle staffs buy those out as well. So it's actually pretty profitable. Um, now. My guess would be because of the bots, you're probably not going to get more than 6 or 7 or K an hour here. However, if they weren't here, you could probably break 1 to 1.5 mil an hour just because of how profitable the death runes are from buying them. But you're never going to get that. Okay, so next up is uh, the Karambuan method. And now to do this, you will need to have completed Taibaiwano Trio as well as you will need to acquire some trading sticks. Now they can be bought on the Grand Exchange for about 12 GP each, and that's what I've done. Uh, so what we're going to be doing is buying Karambuans from Tiadish. Uh, so they have 10 in stock. Now if we look at the value here, um, they're 110 from the shop and 583 on the Grand Exchange. It's a very good margin. However, uh, it's going to cost an extra 180 to send them from here, which I believe is still quicker than running back, and what, that's what I did in one of my other videos. So it's usually not too busy here. Look, we got no problem. Full inventory. There we go. So now what you do is there's a man a little bit north of the village who will actually send uh, your items to a bank in exchange for trading sticks. He should be just up here. This guy, Reanasta. Send parcel. So once it's open, you just right click on the Karambron, pack all, and they've been successfully sent to the bank at a cost of 260 trading sticks, uh, which is about... Uh, 300 GP. Okay, so if you're really on it and there's nobody here competing with you, you can do a boat in inventory every minute. However, if it's not topped out in every world, you can probably do uh, four every five minutes, but let's just say you can do one every minute because it is possible. And on each Karambuan, we're getting 326 uh, GP in profit. I calculated that by taking the average we're selling them for, which is 484 minus how much we're buying them for, 138, minus also 120 GP per Karambuan for the trading stick cost, so 326. So per inventory, we are getting 8,476K. You do an inventory every minute, so times 60 is about 500K an hour, uh, which is not too bad. However, uh, when the uh, Karambuan buff essentially came out uh, with the make all update, you were actually able to get 
about 700 to 800 k an hour, but still pretty good. And Type by One Trio is not a tough requirement to get, so it's actually very accessible to most people. Now, next up is actually an archery store. I'm at Hickens Archery Emporium in Catherby. Uh, there's no requirements to do this. You just need a little bit of money. Uh, if we have a look at the prices here, there's actually quite a few profitable items here, mainly the arrow tips. Uh, so they sell for 200 and on the GE they're selling for 232 You do have to watch out though after buying some out, uh, it, the price will go up fairly quickly. So look, you can only really buy 15 of those. Admin bolt tips, uh, 81 and they sell for 97 on the GE. Now I'm not sure if this world's been bought into at all. Mithril's uh, 32 GP into 49. Now this really is dependent on how quickly you can click. So it's not my favorite method, but it's actually very good considering that it has no requirements at all and you can buy them down reasonably low. Now we go into Hop Worlds. Now I don't expect uh, a lot of other people are doing this. However, uh, it doesn't seem like the shops are maxed out either. Uh, so I think if you do this at an off peak hour, you may actually get some decent profit from these items. And again, no uh, requirements for this, but I probably wouldn't imagine getting more than two or 300 K an hour. So it's probably not my first rated one, but still an option if you have uh, no quests and just a bit of money. And the last method I'm gonna show you today is actually unique in the way that's on Zaya. Uh, what we're gonna be doing is buying sandworm packs from Tyron's Fishing Supply Store. Now this is located just in the Northeast segment of the Piscalarius house. Uh, if you come to Zaya, you'd be coming in right here and it's just kind of the northeast segment there. Uh, what we're gonna be buying is sandworm packs. Now they're kind of pricey, they're nine to each, however you're buying 100 sandworms. Now, uh, sandworms actually sell for about 100 on the Grand Exchange, we just went and looked it up on GE Tracker here. Uh, routinely sell for 100. So in each pack, you could make upwards of 1K in profit. Even after five packs, it brings it down to a 500 GP profit, but look how quickly it actually restocks itself. So you could actually, make a ton of money here. So we'll go ahead and test this out for a little bit. Uh, now the one drawback here is you actually require a ton of starting capital to actually do this method. While the sandworms actually sell off reasonably quickly, you do need quite a bit of money because each pack is worth uh, 9k each. So that's 45k every time we're coming in here. So to do this for an hour, you'd need probably like 10 to 15 mil. However, just doing it for 15 minutes, you only need two or three mil or something like that. Okay, so we're back. In about five minutes, we were able to buy about 11,000 of the sandworms. Now, the average price we bought them at was about 91.8, and we're selling them on the GE for 100 each. Uh, of course, I can vary, and you do want to check the prices ahead of time. But 100 minus 91.8 is a 8.2 profit per sandworm. Uh, if we multiply that by 11,200. That means we profited 91k in 5 minutes, times that by 12, and you're looking actually at over a mil an hour. Now you have to take this with a grain of salt. Um, sand rooms are going to sell on the Grand Exchange at about uh, ideally 8,000 an hour. Uh, so you really don't want to do this for too long because the sell rate is just not going to match how quickly you can buy them. You want to make sure you're selling them for at least like 95 or 96, although 100 would be ideal. But you can see the potential here is very good for making a ton of money, especially considering that there are no requirements to come here. The main drawback is the amount of starting capital that you do require, but and I think it's a good method anyway. All right guys, that's about it. So there's another five shops you can buy from in Old School RuneScape to make some pretty decent bank. And yeah, hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, don't forget to uh, toss it a like and I'll see you in the next one.